Sentinel Mindset. What am I? Can robots replace the roles of security? Now we're in a new wave right now of technology. We've had all these new things introduced to us. ChatGBT has been the biggest one of them has come to the table. But AI is moving at a very, very fast pace in the last two years, and it is only accelerating. Now, we were reading an article earlier in the week, and it was basically titled, Security Robots Are Starting to Join the Ranks of Human Security Guards. And here's what we know. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to dive in to find out, is your job at stake if you're working as a security guard to be taken over by a robot? And uh, if you want to hear my answer before we start, I'm going to say yes. And let's dive in. Okay. So this is where the article kicks off. It says from New York to Hawaii, people can spot security robots equipped with a suite of sensors patrolling the perimeters of some residential communities and apartment buildings. Security robots are rapidly becoming a viable complement to human security guards, sparking concerns about privacy issues and potential job losses in the security field. Now, again, what we're going to talk about today is what areas in the security industry I feel, this is my personal feeling based on what's happening right now, could end up getting completely wiped out in the years to come. Okay. Now, these robots, they're showing their capability as reliable. They're on time. Okay. There's a lack of public data to prove it. However, experts and manufacturers say the truth strength lies in working along security officials with their advanced technologies. Okay. Now, what are some things these robots can do? Okay. So maybe, you know, you might be thinking right now of, for example, like iRobot, you know, uh, a six foot plus, you know, skeleton frame with a, with a face that talks like this. Uh, you know, you could be thinking that you could be thinking of these little machines that look like, you know, these little square objects that are moving around. But what exactly are they doing now, these robots? Well, first of all, they have 360 degree high definition video imaging and recording. So that's their biggest, biggest move They They have a camera system that has sensors that can detect. OK, they can detect license plates. They have signal detection and mobile devices. Uh, they're projecting and recording two way audio. They can detect motion and physical objects, environmental detection, weather, um, and they can obviously navigate through hazardous environments. The thing is, these robots can operate 24-7 and they excel in the repetitive aspects of the job, like sitting at a post or walking or a set route. Now, robots allow humans to perform hands-on tasks that require empathy and sympathy. This is where they will lack. But let's just dissect this right now for a little bit. So in the residential sector... This is, would be where anyone that works in a security capacity at a condo, which we know that there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of condos, you know, just alone in Ontario, let alone Canada, let alone the world. And most of these condos usually have a concierge individual, who, which is also known as a security guard. And he's the person at the front desk. And he's, hi, how are you? He greets you. And, you know, he may offer a package that you may have waiting for you. And then he allows access. OK, and for the most part, when, you know, any issues are arising in a condo, it usually has to do with people that are there that are not supposed to be or maybe something to do with the resident. OK, already right now, as we speak, there is technology in place where they're using certain condominium sites as beta tests where they will have cameras and robots in replacement of the actual guard. Now, look, as a business owner who owns a security agency, you know, the one thing that, you know, uh, always that you hear people will kind of very quickly discard what I just said right now is, ah, but robots are not humans. Well, look, the one thing that a robot can do better than a human, and there's many of them, but first of all, is access to information. The second thing is look at the most simplistic things like punctuality. How often is that happening where guards are late on sites or, you know, a guard doesn't want to work on a holiday, for example? Well, this is, for example, where you would have a robot take its place 24-7, no questions asked. And the investment to a lot of these robots are high at the top end. But really what will happen here is over time, jobs like that, what involves access, are going to disappear. And it may not happen right away, but it's starting to happen. So when you hear about job losses, this is one area that I personally feel 100% will take over. Now, the, the other thing that the, the article mentions about robots having empathy, 
This is huge. There's also law enforcement right now in certain states that are testing out technology. Have you guys heard of Boston Dynamics? These guys are building robots. They can build dogs. They can build anything at all that mimics the real life movement of a dog. The one thing that they lack, obviously, is emotional intelligence, which comes very large into play when you're dealing with people. But when we're talking about can it be the replaced, absolutely. And, you know, a part of the article here now that's going to kind of counter what I just said, because people are trying to not create commotion, is like they're not going to be replacing security guards. The article states, and a guy named John Hazard, he says a loss prevention security expert with Robson Forensic, he says the greatest strength of security robots is their ability to serve as a highly customizable extension to an existing security system. And one would assume they're not entry-level products, so if someone buys these, they already have a pretty good camera system that they are optimizing reasonably, he says, and that it also extends that it makes the camera system more valuable. Okay, great. Where are other places that you see robot technology right now or AI technology being used? Look at your grocery stores. Grocery stores now have complimentary checkouts that you do your own checkout, right? Meaning as in there's nobody there to help you. You go and you scan your own thing, you pay your dollars and you leave. Yeah, that's an example of something being complimented. But look, at the end of the day, when you look at a bottom line of something, if something is going to save you money over time, something is going to be very efficient and do something better than a human. These are things that can kind of really come into play. And the reason why this is something that I think a lot of security agencies as a whole need to really pay attention to is because if you're going to be putting out a crap product, which many, many do, okay, they put out unqualified individuals that they pay them completely minimum wage because they bid so low on the contract and they're not really providing security. If you are those companies, and there's a lot of them out there, you are someone that is playing with the idea and the concept that you're going to be getting replaced by a robot. And that is, that is in a lot of these settings. Robots are taking a lot of movements and advancements. And that's why it's not far off to say this. There was an article the other day that I was looking at. It was showing all these movies over time. Movies like Demolition Man, who came out in 1996. And in 1996, they were referencing scenes in 2029. We are six years away from 2029. They were talking about, you know, Star Trek goes into like, you know, 3,000 ahead of time. But the reality is this. When we look at technology and its advancements right now, it is moving fast. So if you're not preparing for this, at the end of the day, it could create issues for you. So to me, can robots replace humans? Absolutely not. Could it happen? It's already started to happen. And we have some videos that we can kind of put against this. So you can kind of get an idea of things that they're working on right now. But the bottom line is, if you want to stay safe in this environment, you need to make sure that you're coming in at the highest caliber to demonstrate worth, to showcase that if something comes in, no, here's everything else. Here's the positives. If you're, think about this. If you're, if you're a security guard working in, in a concierge setting at a condo and your punctuality is garbage and your customer service skills is terrible and you're just not there and sometimes you sleep at night and all the negative, uh, you, know, um, you know, acts that come in with someone that's not competent, if those are happening, and it happens, by the way, on a regular basis, it'd be very easy for me to take that weight and say, I might as well just invest and maybe take a hit for the first three to five years. But by the sixth or seventh year, I'll start paying off the robot that I invested in. So this could also be a wake up call to many people listening right now that, yes, AI robots are going to take jobs and it's going to be taking jobs. The ones that are the most simplistic when it comes to a level of service. So use, use this information to kind of do that. I don't see robots replacing uh, basically a lot of the functions in security because at the end of the day, I think we're still far off, but we're not too far off, meaning as in it could be that in the next 15 to 20 years. And I think about that a lot right now is what jobs are safe from technology? And, you know, it's not going to be just security. It's going to be an impact. There's like already articles that are saying the top five industries that are going to get affected. Like, for example, an accountant. They're an industry that's going to get affected. It's already started as well with the technology happening right now. But the bottom line is you use this information to prove worth on other areas. I hope you guys enjoyed this area of, uh, of, of conversation. Again, we can only pay attention to where technology is moving, where things are happening, but it's already happening right now. So be aware. And if you're someone that's representing from an agency level, start raising your game before you lose your jobs to, or to robots. Take care, everyone. Stay safe and have a great day. Thank you for joining me in today's podcast. 
This podcast was created for protectors in the fields of law enforcement, executive protection, security, and anyone looking to level up their mindset. If you are learning from this podcast and you're enjoying it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel at The Sentinel Mindset. That's a zero cost way to support us. In addition, please subscribe to the podcast both on Spotify and Apple. And on both Spotify and Apple, you can leave us up to a five-star review. If you have questions for me or comments about the podcast or guests you would like me to consider on The Sentinel Mindset, please post all comments on YouTube. I do read all the comments. Please also check out our sponsors, thearenatoronto.com. The Arena was created to help all those in the fields of law enforcement, security, and all that achieve their fitness goals. I want to thank our producer, Matthew Doyle, and creative supports, Jasleen Singh, who helped me with this podcast every week. We value your feedback and are here to support you. Tune into the Sentinel Mindset every week where we look in the mirror to make real changes and explore what it takes to achieve greatness in your craft. This podcast is brought to you by Executive Protection Lifestyle Canada. Make sure to drop by next week and don't forget to subscribe.